I am of the perspective that Black philanthropy is ancestral, right? It is the perspective that any and everything is philanthropy. So when we prioritize community with staples like fish fries and rent parties, it's your mom watching your children so that you can work. It's the collection plate that's getting passed in extra time so that we can raise money for our babies when they go to college. It's the plate of food that your auntie always puts to the side for the neighbor that might be too proud to admit that they're hungry. So much of Black life outside of what comes out of our pockets is philanthropy in the essence of the love of brothers. So you open your home, you're not just giving somebody a space to stay, you're really giving of yourself. So they were basically parts of our family for a long time. And, and that's what I understand Black philanthropy to be, is that we give of what we have or we share what we have, not because we are looking for some reward someplace else, but because it's what's necessary for our communities to be whole and to thrive. Oftentimes people will say, you know, we set this up and nobody came and we, we had this to give and, you know, the populate, they must not want help. And it's like, are you there for help? And are you listening to the people and are you doing it in a way that humanizes them? And again, in their storytelling, can we make sure that we are being um, sympathetic, compassionate and empathetic? My advice would be to one, think locally, because you're going to be bombarded with issues nationwide and globally. So think locally and then find a cause that's important to you and find one grassroots organization, build relationships with the folks in that organization and just keep using your skills and money or money and or money to support that organization. You know, part of it's also about assumptions. So I, I'll tell you, I took a class in college called the Inequality in America, and it was the migration patterns of poor people across the US, right? And there's this assumption that people don't want jobs, they don't want to do things, but there's basic things that you don't have, like a mailing address, right? Because I took this in the 90s, right? And so like, we didn't even think about that, but you can't apply for a job if you don't have a mailing address because they can't reach mm -hmm. you, right? And so there's, there's fundamental things that like, we assume that people don't want something and it's more, we don't listen and understand. We have to get rid of those assumptions and say, okay, what's really the, what's happening.